Hey everybody, Scott Sprancher here from DocSports.com and welcome to the report for Monday, November 19th, 2018. Thanksgiving week is here and I tell you what, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, you'll want to give it a try. It's real easy to do. You click on the link below the video to get started, set yourself up for a free account. $60 free account, and uh, you'll be able to use that free $60 account on any of, any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. i uh, got to start out before we get to our free play and all the good stuff uh, with an apology. We had no video for Sunday. We had a little bit of a technical issue late Saturday night. As you know, I usually post these videos around 1 a.m. my time, 1 a.m. Pacific, 4 a.m. Eastern. We tried doing a little bit earlier uh, for Sunday's video, but uh, to no avail. And by the time the technical issue was worked out, uh, it was already kickoff time on Sunday in the NFL. So uh, had to miss a video. First time we've had to do that since we started doing these way back in April. And uh, But we're back up, and that's all that matters. And I uh, want get to get to a free college basketball play on Monday's card in just a moment. But I wanted to report another college football NFL top place week. Our best play of the week in both college football and the NFL. They're now 14-1-1 and the last eight weeks. We had Navy as a seven-star on Saturday. Came back with a six-star on the Indianapolis Colts on Sunday, and they blew the doors off Tennessee. So 14-1-1 with our last 16 goes back eight weeks. 46-24 uh, and 24 is our current college football and NFL run combined, up nearly $11,500 for those wagering just $100 per unit. We ended up going 2-2 two and two on Sunday overall, and uh, that brings us now our overall all-sports record to 102-67. and 67. That's 60% going back a good solid two to three months now uh, over at DocSports.com, and we have a lot going on on Monday. We've got college basketball, the NBA, the NHL. We won yesterday in the NHL again, sporting my Vegas uh, hat and shirt because they got us the win on the road over Edmonton at a real decent price. And uh, just wanted to mention also, uh, before we get to the free play for today, that because it is Thanksgiving week, because we have football on Thursday, uh, we will have our release date. All of our football plays over at DocSports.com will be posted by Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific time. Again, Wednesday this week when we post all of our football plays. You don't want to miss out, as I mentioned, 46 and 24 is our seven-week run now in college football NFL combined, 14-1-1 one one with our top-rated plays in college football and NFL the last eight weeks. Again, college basketball, NBA, NHL will all be available Monday during the day, and NFL is already available. I played the Monday night football game, the Rams against the Chiefs, and it's available right now over at DocSports.com as we have a little bit more business uh, to finish up in Week 11 NFL. Rams Chiefs available right now at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to the free Monday college basketball play. We're taking Team 542, the Creighton Blue Jays, minus the points over Boise State. This game, one of the tournament games in the Caymans. In fact, it's the late game on Monday. But uh, listen, I'm recommended to play on Creighton, uh, minus the points here. If you'll remember, and if you were with me the other day with our premium plays over at Docs, You'll, you'll remember that we had Ohio State over Creighton just a few days ago. And Ohio State built a decent halftime lead, jumped out to a nice double-digit lead early second half. But Creighton fought back. And i got to admit, they've got more fight and they've got a little bit more readied talent than I thought they did going into this season. We still got the win with the Buckeyes. They had a 13-0 late second half run that allowed us to get the win and the cover. But what I saw out of Creighton is that they're ready a little bit earlier than I thought they'd be for this upcoming season. And, of course, as far as Boise State is concerned, Leon Rice, he's done a great job with this program. This program is going to be an upper Mountain West division finisher just about every single season. The problem is this year is he doesn't have Chandler Hutchinson anymore, and they are really struggling from the deep perimeter against lesser opposition. They're 12 for 45 thus far through two games from the three-point line. They just don't have uh, the deep jump shooters that they're going to probably want to have in this particular game. And, again, they split against... Jacksonville State and Idaho State level of competition obviously uh, steps up big time here against the Creighton Blue Jays and again I think the Jays are a little bit more ready for the season than I gave them credit for we got the win the other day with the Buckeyes 
but not without a big fight from the Jays until the last couple of minutes of the game. I like him here. Free play Creighton minus the points over Boise. Creighton laying five as we speak. Six or less is fine with us. And again, Monday Night Football, Chiefs and Rams, available right now at DocSports.com as we look to uh, make uh, extend our run in football to 47-24. and 24. And also, again, college basketball, NHL, NBA, all available on Monday during the day over at DocSports.com. I did almost forget to mention we lost the big play in the CFL in playoff action on Sunday. Uh, we had Winnipeg. They did not get the job done for us on Sunday's card. But again, a lot of stuff going on Monday. Don't forget about the Wednesday release of all the football plays for the upcoming weekend due to Thanksgiving weekend. All right, listen, I'm Scott Spritzer. If you like what you see, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Tuesday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next report. Let's put Monday in the win column.